Hi guys, I'm Esther and you're welcome to Live Personified. <laughs> so from last week's video, we know that it's important to have a pastor figure in our life, someone that can guide us and feed us the word of God. But what happens when the pastor you've trusted for so long commits a heinous crime or does something that's socially unacceptable? If you're curious to know, stay tuned. If you're new here, welcome to this family. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to Life Person Fight. On Life Person Fight, it's all about faith, worship, and music. We pray together, worship together. We share playlists and we share experiences from Christians dealing with real issues in a changing world. And I would love you to be a part of the Life Person Fight fam. So if you want to be a part of the Life Person Fight fam, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so that you are always on track. And if you are returning, welcome back welcome back welcome back thank you guys for always sticking with me and for always watching my videos i appreciate so let's get straight into today's video you guys already know we always start with the scripture and today's scripture is going to be taken from first corinthians chapter 11 verse 1 and it reads follow my example as i follow the example of christ so as a recap from last week's video we talked about um, the importance of a pastor why we need a pastor figure over our lives even though uh, we have a church we still need a pastor that would act as a guide that would also act as a protector watch over us and to also feed us the word of god so that's what we learned last week but then pastors are human beings as well and there are times where pastors do things that are not acceptable in the society there are times where they do things that are criminal let me just give an example you know this um movie that came out i think it was this year or last year the man of god that um, came out is not a movie i recommend but <laughs> anyway but that movie came out and it was showing the life of a pastor who well the guy was not he was not living um the christ-like life and then after some time he gave his life to christ and he eventually realized that he'll be able to make money being in a church and then he went on and then he started his own church and then he was cashing out <laughs> and he eventually started dabbling into drugs and i think organ trafficking or whatever it was like he was just doing a lot of things he impregnated a, a um he impregnated a choir member and like so many things like that and his wife covered it up and all that for him but then what i just want to say from this small story is that like there are times where um, pastors do things that they are not supposed to do as a christian not even as a pastor as a christian is not supposed to do those things because god does not accept such behavior so what do you do in that kind of situation i'm going to come from two points of view there is the first point of view where you are a member of that church and then there's a second point of view where you are a member of another church so i'm going to start with one of being a member of the church so first thing i'll say is don't jump into conclusions you know that stories are flying everywhere the devil is constantly trying to ridicule the church so don't jump into conclusions the first thing to do is actually to go to the holy spirit and pray ask the holy spirit what is next to do he may tell you that you should stay in that church and not go anywhere or he may tell you that okay it is time to move to another church if you weren't even meant to be in that church in the first place it's possible that the holy spirit was witnessing to you and you are ignoring that witness to leave the church at the time where he told you to leave so even in picking churches is, is important for you to be sure that you've heard from the holy spirit that okay this is where i need to be and even as you're there you test the spirit listen to like listen to what the pastor is preaching is this something in line with the word of god if it's not in line with the word of god then you leave but then in the case where that thing has already happened the pastor maybe stories have already gone around you don't know what is true and these stories have already gone around what is best to do is don't jump into conclusions pray about it the holy spirit will direct you whether to leave that church or whether to stay in that church it may just be a situation where the devil is just trying to blow words and just ridicule the church so that people 
do not so that more people leave the faith so that's why i said it's 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 quite sensitive it's something that i need to calm down first and ask the holy spirit for direction this second um, point i'm going to say it goes for both people outside and within the church but majorly for people outside so people outside don't even know what's going on they just heard that oh wow this pastor in so so church did so 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 thing as the body of christ the best thing to do is don't go on social media and give your opinion yes i know we all have our opinions yes i know a lot of people may not agree with what i just said but don't go and put your opinions out there i know maybe you feel that what the pastor did was wrong i know you feel that oh like it is unacceptable but first of all you don't know the truth instead the same thing i said for the first one pray pray for the pastor because it may be an attack of the devil on that pastor trying to ridicule the church which i've mentioned a couple of times so pray for that pastor because it is the body of christ if someone stabs my hand it affects my entire body so if a pastor is being ridiculed or um or like word is going out that a pastor did something it is an embarrassment and it's bringing shame on the church and we as christians we, we should not join the crowd and say negative things because we really do not know what exactly happened another thing i like to say is don't be quick to judge even when you are sure that okay this is what happened they've brought out proof and okay this is actually what happened still don't be quick to judge okay let me give an example it's like probably you watching this video you're my sibling and we have an argument something i don't know what happens probably for one reason or another we have an argument and imagine if i go on social media and i'm like this my sibling is such a bad person like how can he or she do this kind of thing he, he he's um he's such a sly he's such a slothful person like imagine if i go out on social media saying all those kind of things people who do not even know my sibling are hearing me saying those kinds of things about my sibling then it may be that later on both of us we finally agree like we finally make amends we're cool we're okay but then the internet does not know that the internet doesn't know that we're good even if you post you make another post saying oh we're, we're cool now we're no longer angry with each other the people who see that post at that time may not be the same people who saw the other one where i was insulting you so do you get the kind of picture i'm painting we as the body of christ there is no reason for us to um to join the crowd trying to bring down or drag down that pastor or drag down that church because it is part of the body of christ it is like we are siblings because we're in different churches does not mean we are following different jesuses there's only one jesus and we're following the same christ and we are all the body of christ we are just like siblings if one of your siblings does something if another church if something happens and another church is being slandered on in, on the internet or things are happening and people are talking bad about another church there's no there's no point joining people to talk about that church in a bad light because in the end when things are fine and things are good the people who have already heard have heard people have heard your own opinion and heard what you said about that church and after saying that imagine walking up to someone and be like oh hi um i want to tell you about jesus jesus is such a loving god he's he he cares about you but and the person is looking at you and like ah, but i saw your post and <laughs> that was not loving <laughs> that was not a is that the kind of jesus you're following like he's the, is he the kind of person who drags others down um I don't think i want to be a part of that jesus so just show love and if people ask you your opinion on the on the issue tell them i'm not saying anything about it so that people can see that the church has one front there's no point taking church matters to the world for them to discuss like if it's our own issue let's discuss it within us let us agree and and sort our issues within ourselves as christians and then let the world see that we are a unified front one scripture i'd like to read to really explain this is first corinthians chapter 6 verse 1 to 11. if any of you has a dispute with another do not dare to take it before the ungodly for judgment instead of before the lord's people or do you not know that the lord's people will judge the world and if you are to judge the world are you not competent to judge trivial cases do you not know that we would judge angels how much more the things of this life therefore if you have disputes 
about such matters do you ask for a ruling from those whose way of life is scorned in the church i say this to shame you is it possible that there is nobody among you wise enough to judge a dispute between believers but instead one brother takes another to court and this is in front of unbelievers the very fact that you have lawsuits among you means you have been completely defeated already why not rather be wronged why not rather be cheated instead you yourselves cheat and do wrong and you do this to your brothers and sisters or do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of god do not be deceived neither the sexually immoral nor idolaters nor adulterers nor men who have sex with men nor thieves nor the greedy nor drunkards nor standers nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of god and that is what some of you were but you are washed you are sanctified you are justified in the name of the lord jesus christ and by the spirit of our god the summary of this scripture is like when whenever we have issues within ourselves as the body of christ there's no point in us um taking the issue out on social media for everybody to see let's keep it within ourselves yes we know that this pastor did something wrong yes we know that it is not the right thing he should have done or she should have done or what like we know that it is not right we know that like it is not acceptable but we don't go on social media we don't go into the public where there are unbelievers where there are people who actually need to see the church are in a good light for them to come to the church so we don't need to go out there and hang our dirty then outside for everybody to see let's deal the best thing is to deal with it within the church because that can hinder someone else from joy from being a part of the body of christ to just wrap up also remember that everybody comes to church it's not everybody that is a believer the church is a hospital some people are just there to maybe take pastor more and go some people are undergoing serious surgery <laughs> Some people, their own is is chronic disease. <laughs> so basically, what I'm just trying to say is that people are in different levels of their faith, and you can't say that because everybody is in church, everybody is do like everybody is the same way. Like the story I mentioned in the beginning, where the guy decided to start a church because he felt that oh, he would make a lot of money from being in a church. So you can see that that kind of person, he he's not entering because he had a personal conviction from god telling him to start a church and such kind of people when they enter the church and they do so those kind of things they bring shame on the church so beware and know that some pastors are there just to bring down the body of christ they are not being led by the spirit of god they are being led by the spirit of the devil so open your eyes test the spirits before you join a church i want to just use a scripture to really buttress um, that point it's jude chapter 1 verse 3 to 4 and he reads dear friends although i was very eager to write to you about the salvation we share i felt compelled to write and urge you to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to god's holy people for certain individuals whose condemnation was written about long ago have secretly slipped in among you. There are ungodly people who pervert the grace of our God into a license for immorality and deny Jesus Christ our only sovereign and Lord. So like I mentioned before, it's not every pastor that starts a church that is under the leading of the Holy Spirit. Some of them are under a leading of a different spirit. So make sure you test the spirit everything the pastor says don't just take a hook line and sinker like what i mentioned in the scripture earlier it says follow me as i follow christ as the pastor is preaching check your bible check your spirit the holy spirit will will, will give you a witness if it is not right or if if something is wrong and so some people that is their own goal like for the church to be dragged down so in everything be sensitive to the holy spirit and hear what he has to say so basically whenever things happen in church we need to be vigilant we need to be sensitive we need to test the spirits and know what is right to do if you're a member of that church pray to the holy spirit ask him for direction on what is next to do whether you need to leave the church whether you are meant to stay in the church at that time don't be quick to judge you do not know the full story so don't be quick to judge don't go out on social media giving your opinion about the issue be careful because 
we are the body of Christ and anything you say that may be against the body of Christ can hinder someone else from accepting Jesus. So you must always be sensitive to that. Remember that God is the judge of all. Let God do the judgment, but always keep in mind that it's not everybody that's in church that is there under the leading of the spirit. Some people are there under the leading and influence of the devil yeah so those are just the things i wanted to mention in this video so from this video you notice that i kept mentioning how you need to ask the holy spirit you need to speak to the holy spirit you need to read the bible and you're probably wondering how can i get this holy spirit like she keeps talking about the holy spirit and how i need to speak to this holy spirit but how can i speak to the holy spirit does he even hear me to have the holy spirit in you you need to accept jesus as your lord and your savior and it's very easy you just need to believe in your heart that jesus died on the cross for your sake and you need to confess it declare it with your mouth that jesus is lord over your life and he's your savior and once you do that you have salvation and the holy spirit is available whenever you need him so i'm going to say a prayer right now and um, i'd like you to say the prayer after me if this is your first time or you've backslid and you want to come back to christ this is the prayer that you need to say to come back to christ lord jesus come into my heart i believe that you died for my sins and that you are raised from the dead just for me i declare that you are my lord and you are my savior all things are passed away and all things have become new amen and lord i just want to pray right now for your children who are desiring to speak in tongues who want to speak with, with the utterance of the holy spirit oh god holy spirit fill them right now in the name of jesus they are imparted with the gift of speaking in tongues in the name of Jesus for everyone who desires as we desire you give us oh God thank you Jesus for the gift of speaking in tongues in the name of Jesus the gift that gives them an edge in the name of Jesus thank you jesus because it's already done in the name of jesus amen welcome 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 to god's family <laughs> welcome to god's family i'm so excited and you know it's not just me that's excited heaven is rejoicing angels are singing god is doing his best dance because you made that decision today and i would love to be a part of your christian journey so if that was your first time making that decision or you just had a rededication or this was your first time speaking in tongues i would love you to send me a mail at lightpersonified at gmail.com simply saying i'm saved and i will reach out to you if you have any testimonies to share please send them to me at lightpersonfied at gmail.com or if you have any prayer requests you have something you need someone to join you in faith about please send to me at lightpersonfied at gmail.com and i would love to pray with you so on instagram guys yes we are on instagram at lightpersonfied channel and you know on youtube we usually have weekly videos once every week but on instagram we have daily content on our stories on our reels that you can always be encouraged by so if you've not followed us on instagram please go ahead and check us out on instagram at light personified channel if you enjoyed this video or you learned something new please give me that thumbs up yes if you have something to add or you have a question to ask or you have something to contribute to what i've already said as i always say the comment section is wide open and i'd love to hear from you guys if you've come this far and you've watched the video to this end why haven't you subscribed why haven't you subscribed yet this is where you want to be so please subscribe to this channel and please click the notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you will be the first to know <laughs> all right guys remember that you are blessed and loved always
bye